Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10.5 series on the Advanced Temperate Planet Start. So, we got our base attack, we fended that off, we're going to have another one pretty soon too, I was looking at the stats here in less than two days so we've got another one coming up but we do have more defenses up today what i want to do is continue working on the base we, we did get a whole bunch of stuff so what did we get here we got 22 flux coils we have 26 oscillators a whole bunch of energy matrix uh we only got a couple of power coils though so but we should have, and we got a couple of capacitor devices. We should have enough, and a whole crap load of cobalt oil. Anyway, we should have enough. If I link to this, let's link to it. And we'll switch to our multi tool. And upgrade. We should have enough. Oh, it says two, two computer. Okay, that's easy enough. F, we'll go into, we'll just put it into itself. We'll make two computers. Two computers. Boom, boom. Okay. So now we should be able to upgrade it to a, an advanced constructor. Here we go. Yay! We have an advanced constructor. Okay. What can it make? That the other one couldn't is all the other goodies like these rocket turrets they take oscillator cobalt alloy yeah see we can make these now uh, we just don't have the I don't think we have any um, I don't even think we looted any did we no we haven't found any magnesium at all so we're gonna have to get a, we might have to get a small vehicle up and going for, I don't know, sooner than later. But I really wanted to just get a little mini capital vessel going first. Uh, okay, well, there's no sense in making the rocket turns. We can't shoot anything with them. At least we can make the other stuff. Yeah, we need all the magnesium. We need magnesium powder. Okay. Well, that's incentive to go to the moon, isn't it? Okay. Well, this episode we're going to upgrade a couple of things. Ooh, look at this. We can actually make a furnace and a deconstructor. Holy crap, we can make a deconstructor. Oh my freaking god, we can make a deconstructor. Oh, wow, we can make a decision. <laughs> uh, I really want to. I really, really, really want to. Huh. Because, I mean, how many... Um, that's 10 flux coil. We can make one. What does it take to make... The CV, th can we make CV thrusters? Yeah, right there. Two and two. So we could make six right now. We need an RCS. Yeah, see, we almost have enough. We almost have enough to actually make the... Uh, You know, and if we threw those other big giant thrusters in, if we put these in right here, we'd have enough. So let's do that. You know what? It'll be overage, but that's okay, because the next thing we're going to do is, is probably get the fin fighter in. So let's go for our little cargo 
CV and we can get that spawned in and upgrade it with um, some of the more modern cargo box stuff. I should really make, once I make, once I upgrade it, I should actually re <laughs> redo this. Uh, I keep meaning to. Anyway, let's send that to the factory. You can see it's really cheap. It can't warp, but it is a CV. So, uh, 270. Well, let's see. Well, let's see what we can do with that. Let's see what we got. Okay. So, we're going to go to this one now. Throw that there. Try one at a time. Wow. Substantial. Oh, I forgot to check to see what the time was. Wow. A few minutes worth, anyway. And that was like a big chunk of what we needed for in the way of Neo and Sathium and Cobalt. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to bring this in. No problem here. Let's do this. Let's do this. We can do this right now. <laughs> Woot. Okay, uh, what's next? We can we can throw crap in that we might not be using, like that. And we can, you know, get these consoles in there. I, I wouldn't mind upgrading the doors, though. Uh, I want to hold off on using the force fields in it, because... We can get that in there. get that in there put that in there we can maybe upgrade to better windows yeah we'll throw that in there uh, got a bunch of stuff that should just be in the other cargo box here like this stuff okay Okay, so that's cool. We we'll must grab that too. Since we have that, oh yeah, we we'll must grab that. Now that we have two rifles that can use them. Okay, uh, well, we don't need two of those, so let's put that in. Need the multi tool, another multi tool, right? And steel blocks, another multi tool. Okay. Throw that in. That, you can see the time is going down. Nice. And our other counts are going up the iron and silicone and copper now. frees up some space and gets rid of this stuff. Although I could have sold some of it. Uh, that's fine. Let's continue on. We have... Actually, let's put these antennas in. We can put these truss blocks in. We don't need regular windows. Hardened steel. Not sure if we'll need them. Let's just grab them. We might need them for, for the... Oh, I didn't notice all the steel plate there. Okay, then we're going to need the flux coils. The capacitor devices. The oscillators. The power coils. Let's see what we can do. Still trying to get the time down, right? So it all helps. It all helps. Uh, Sathium. We'll see once we get. Right, let's see. Capacitor devices. Nice. Half these flux coils. Oh, yeah, they added quite a bit. I think we need to just throw all of them in there because we're going to need a bunch of these too. 
and there we go cobalt sathium and neo perfectly no how, what how when did that was amazing how did it perfectly cap out all three at the same time wow <laughs> i've never seen that before without going over uh that was trippy okay well we don't need those now so let's put those away okay <laughs> Oops, that's uh, mats. Okay. Well, that was good. We can make the nutrient solutions into. Uh, we need to turn those into actual. Where is it? Uh, turn it blocks, wood growing plot let's let's make as many as it can oops put it in the other one let's grab that one okay so what else we need to put in there was the iron we need uh but 150, just over 150. Okay, so about 130 silicone and 90 copper and a bunch of small stack of carbon. Okay. Okay, so all just typical stuff, standard stuff. So we can use the motors to help. Actually, let's see what happens when we throw all the motors in. Grab these. Probably help. Um, nanotubes. Silicone. Optical fiber, although that's a lot of silicone going in without any copper. So, let's try the motors. Okay, we don't need any more carbon substrate. Let's try, and that's quite a bit of silicone and copper. Nope, oh, we're down to zero seconds. That's awesome. And you know what? Let's just throw it all in. It looks like we can use it all. So we need silicone and iron. Okay, well, silicone. Oh, still need silicone. And a little bit more. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, iron. Um, here we go. Although we could probably get away with just throwing in ingots. Although I don't have any smelted up. That's fine. We'll do this. So it's probably going to need most of it anyway. If not all of it. Yeah. Looks like it needs all of it. If not more. Okay. Um, iron. I don't want to throw that in because I want to upgrade. I kind of wanted to leave all my iron stuff alone really okay well I guess we're gonna throw some more iron stuff in so let's throw the steel blocks in man boom that does it good enough right on excellent okay So, we can spawn that in. Can't remember if I forced it to spawn on a pad. I don't think I did. Don't think I really cared this time. It's It was a novel thing and it's like, meh, it just, it, 
All it's going to do is make me make a flat concrete pad. It seems a little bit arbitrary at this point. It's just not going to bother. Okay, let's just spawn this right here, I think. So, start the production because it's one second and it must be ready. that spawned in so let's actually let, maybe we can get it a little closer here let's turn around because I want to work on it I want to get it upgraded come on come on back a little bit little bit there we go and We'll get that spawned in. Oh, <laughs> and of course the visual glitch. That's always fun. That is always fun. So we've got a little mini CV in with the with the parts that we salvaged, and can't really tell. You can't really tell what it looks like because it just looks like a jumbled piece of crap right now. Let me. Uh, do a quick reset and we'll be right back. Okay, let's get this thing moved. I think I want to move it where it's going to be easier to work on. So here, let's just jump in it and we'll fuel it up. Oops, put some fuel in first. We should be able to get into it. Oh my god, it's rocking. Probably won't stop. Um, okay, let's go into here. Go into here. Go into here. And I got 12 on me, but I think we've got... Yeah. Let's throw that in there. That'll be good enough for right now. Go like this. And is it going to stop now? Maybe. If we turn that on. There we go. Let's just. There we go. We have flight. Yes. Our first flight in. Alpha 10.5. There we go. And it happens to be a little mini CV. <laughs> so the reason why I do this, the little mini CV to start, is because the SV doesn't... I don't know. It, it only helps later on in the game when attacking POIs, in my, in my experience. Now, other people might find it differently, and everyone plays a little bit differently, but, you know, I like bringing in a CV because it can actually lift some weight. And when you have weights and measures turned on, that means a lot. Early game. Early game. I need it, like, now. I don't need it later on. So I need this little thing right now. Uh, what we're going to do is let's move it out here, and we'll just <clears throat> we'll level off. Zoom out, see how high we are up. We're pretty high up here. Let's move out in front. And then we'll come over to the side a bit here. Then we can come down. That looks pretty good. I can probably, you know what, if I twist this a bit, there we go. We should be able to come in a little closer. And then, there, there. I'll just upgrade the metal underneath, the metal at the front, 
I'll pop out all the cargo boxes and replace those with a couple of controllers and extensions. And we should be ready to rock and roll again. So let's do that. I'm going to turn. So I'm going to jump out first. So level off. Yep. So let's jump out. Because I want to keep this thing in the air, but I want to turn it off. So there we go. That'll be easy to get to. And then we just turn it off. Thank you very much. So right now in the game, when you turn off vehicles, when they're floating in the air, they don't, they don't crash to the ground. So I use that as kind of an exploit at this. Oh, really? Is it going to make? Really? It's going to make these funky. OK, whatever. They might eventually go away. <laughs> um, so what we want to do is we're going to upgrade the bottom. We're going to rip out the cargo. So let's do that. And oh, we're going to have to eat soon. Do I have anything on me? I have those. One of those here. Let's eat that. I guess this thing's in the way too. Hmm. What are we at for base attack? Less than a day. Okay, as soon as we're we're gonna have to keep monitoring that because uh, if that becomes imminent, um, although if we put if we put the right gear in this, well here. Okay, let's start popping this out. Let's get connected. We want to be connected to the base to that one. No. What do we want? We want forty eight hundred. 72,000, 72,000, let's do this one. And we're gonna, I wanna move the stuff over to that one that I wanna use for the CV. Well, we can upgrade the doors. We do something with some of the front windows there. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can use any of the rest for the CV in the way of putting in the actual gear into it. Okay. So let's take stuff out. <clears throat> Link to our regular toolbar, and we're just going to grab the blocks for now. grab all these they're all gonna pretty much come out you can see it was originally intended to be strictly just a cargo small tiny little cargo ship and that's basically what it's still intended to be and so now what I want to do is I want to upgrade all that stuff that I just took out. Plus I want to really, I don't really like how this is. I'm going to get rid of this here. And then we're going to move this guy. might be able to stand. No, I don't think we can stand that up. This thing has no head height, headroom to it. Uh, we don't need that on here because we have the small one for meat. We can make some basic, very rudimentary food and that's all that we need it to be capable of. Okay. Um, yeah, we didn't need all that crap. Okay, so we've got the Wi-Fi right beside the core that's fine what we'll do is hmm really hope this thing is going to be able to lift the 
it's got it looks like it has two down yeah it's got two down okay okay it should be able to lift it once we upgrade it was pretty quick before so I'm assuming it should be able to handle it well let's use the cargo in the back I guess All right so let's grab that we want the ammo first we're gonna need that in there that's the regular cargo container we're gonna need a couple of these let's see if we can upgrade we want to uh, pop the doors out here where's the doors okay okay so we also need this thing to make we need the constructor I just used up all the steel plate didn't I uh, we need a bunch more steel plates so let's let's just put it back into its input there make a couple hundred um, so that we can upgrade all that stuff okay so I don't see any point in not staying with how that's configured that seems fine I can move maybe that okay so I think what we want is, oops, that was the ammo, right? Oops, why do I, that was the ammo, yes, okay. Because uh, the ammo could be just standalone, right? Do the animal stand alone or with one on either side? One on either side, it could hold a whole ton of ammo. Right now, this is 8k ammo if we put it there. We could put it here, put the windows back in. That's interesting, or put a cargo another cargo box um, you know what let's put it there oh wait we could put it here yeah let's do that <laughs> that's fine right there and then see from there we can do I don't know something else we can do something more interesting and then we need to pop out this window and this one and this one and put in those heavy ones we only have two eh? okay I could build more should be able to so we're gonna need one there um, we're going to need the corner one not if we pop that out so we'll need one two three we'll need three okay let's make those I think that's under blocks here yeah so glass plate 15 that's not a problem put that into this one okay one two three 
It's going to eat up a bunch of the steel plate, the hardened steel plate, but that's okay. And then we can start upgrading. We can start upgrading the front of it too. Let's do the pieces along here, the pieces along the front. So let's do that really quick. <clears throat> Upgrade hardened steel, but we have aren't we linked to? Oh no, we're not linked to that right now. Let's we got a link to that. Okay. And now there we go. see it uses a ton of hardened steel plate okay but I do feel better with those blocks there um, yeah let's get the rest of that in oh actually here let's get the um, the other controller in now so I think I think what we can do with the other controllers, we can back it up to here. So let's do that. I'm going to grab it again. So we'll just go like this and reconnect. There's our three, our extension, the RCS controller more hardened steel blocks and the cargo we want the doors and oh crap oh crap oh crap here let's are we gonna get the other one out no uh, we're not okay let's move it <laughs> crap And, oh, it landed over there? Oh no, here it comes. See, I got no RCS. So let's just, here, let's just jump out. Come on, jump out, jump out. It won't let me jump out. Come on, jump out, there. <laughs> We're gonna get the, uh, the C, the H, B. It's right beside us. Oh, okay. Well, I see my base took care of it without me helping at all again, really. <laughs> Yay, me! <laughs> okay. Uh, that's funny. Well, let's loot it. Sweet. I mean, realistically, I was just coming in for the kill steal, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a <our> panic park. <laughs> oh, awesome. Okay, we'll get back up in our, uh, there we go. So the second base attack averted successfully. <laughs> Yay. Oh, stupid thing. Why? Ugh, it's such a stupid bug. If I'm standing on it, it turns the base off. <laughs> okay. Let's go grab her and get her back. With the panic park job. I don't know where I was going to put that. Maybe right there. 
Okay, let's fly her back. Okay. And... Can I... Oh, it'll do that. Will it... Will it do the turn thing? Oh, it won't. I can't actually... Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I can't turn it at all, but I can hit O. I should be able to get it back in close again. Yeah. I don't remember it being this bad of an angle, though. <laughs> oh, well. You get what you get. Maybe I should move it out a bit this time. So I don't have to do the panic, the panic job. There we go. There, right, that should be plenty close enough. And I can still get my HV out. Oh yeah, lots of space. So we'll just jump out and then Jump down. Take this and go <clears throat> like this. Look at it and turn it off. Thank you very much. Now, before we were so rudely interrupted, let's get this finished off. We want cargo boxes all in here, extensions at least. That's what's going to fill all that up. We want the doors in, so let's do that. <clears throat> we need the RCS, so we do need the RCS in right away. I could put it there. Just put the windows back in for now. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's grab it, throw it there. Well, that means I won't be able to grab the, uh, eh, not sure now. You know, I could probably seal that up over top with, an, with angled ones. Yeah, let's do that. So let's put this here. We'll put it there. Then at least I can still get to that. And we'll get the... Windows put in here. There we go. At least that's sealed now. Uh, but I do want to pop these out and put in the other ones, so we'll do that. And we're going to go with the angled ones here, like that. Nice. Uh, what are we going to do with that? Are we going to... See, that looks like crap now. <laughs> um, that doesn't connect very well, does it? It would connect really well to another, another one. Up to the door there, at least. Can we do that? Let's see. Let's see. Can we make two more? Can we make two more? I think we can. Let's do that. Make two more. Then we got the two doors. So we'll get those in. Uh, you 
you know what? I want the more traditional one. People one, you know what? No, we'll do this style. Right there. And then the other side. Like that. We'll pop this out. And that. There, this will look much better. Grab those. Slide those in. Wham. Mucho better. Okay. Although, eh, there's not much I can do about that at this point. I, I can live with that from the outside. It looks pretty good. <laughs> That's all that really counts, right? Right? Okay. Um, so, we want some cargo. Let's put the controller in. We'll put that right up here, I think. Let's do it there. Which way is it facing? Down. Face that down. Okay. And then we want we'll just put uh, extension. Come on, extension there and there. We're going to put windows in there, and then we'll just um, we'll just bump those up to reinforced or whatever armored windows not heavy windows but just armored for now okay so we need to put a little bit more up top here let's do the slope I think right here yeah let's do it like that across excellent Okay, that should seal up the back just fine. And then... We need regular... Right there and there. There. And there. If we should get away with three up the center, do do like this and like this, and then no, because it won't be sealed. Oh, yeah, it will if I use the sealed type. So three. Okay, how much does that give us then? How much does that give us right now? 118k. That's pretty freaking good. It's pretty freaking good. And then put another three 16k up there to seal it in. Or just one and put uh, make that make this even bigger 
Um, now I'm not really sure. <sighs> or not even bother with the other ones and just fill that right in as one big. Uh, we don't have the, you know what, we don't have the extensions. Let's just, for now, we can change this. These are airtight, these ones, and which other ones? No. Yep, those are. No. Yeah, uh, no. And yes, so either those or those. Well, that's weird. Okay. Let's use these. We'll do three of these. One, two, and three. Okay. I think we are sealed in again. I think we're sealed in. With cargo upgrade and a little bit of armor up at the front now. Um, not much, but a little bit. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we should see if she flies, right? Can we get back up there? We should be able to. There we go. And here, let's drop this. It's driving me nuts. Switch. Nope. Wrong. Okay, as soon as we jump in, it's going to... Here, if we go like this, there we go. And then if we go like this, there, now it won't fall. <laughs> Ooh, it flies without any problem at all. Okay. And temperature's going up. Yeah, it should be sealed, it should be sealed. Nice. There we have it a slightly updated version of one with uh, with extensions on it so let's put some ammo in it and and this we can use this to go collect all of our stuff now instead of the HV although this uses up a hellacious amount of of uh, <laughs> hellacious yes I had said hellacious a hellacious amount uh, fuel, so we probably don't really want to. <laughs> we want to pick and choose our target. It'll be all the uh, CVs, I think. So, let's get this turned off. We don't need this on at all right now. So that is now upgraded. Excellent. I'm ready to go. I think I'd rather take that up to the moon, to tell you the truth, with the mining with the miner so so the miner it's going to connect to the oh well scared the crap out of me <laughs> i thought something was attacking me <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> okay what do we got in the fridge let's take a look we'll eat one of these <sighs> here we'll eat a couple of them we'll eat that third one why not there we go i know they they don't expire, but neither do the, uh, or they don't expire for a long time, but neither do the um, emergency ration packs. Well, I think we're going to leave it here. We upgraded the CV. Well, we spawned that in, upgraded it, and now um, we had our second base attack while doing that. Uh, next episode, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, um, a landing gear at the front of this thing and, and attach it to the back of the little mini CV. And I think we're going to go up to the moon and try and get some, some goodies. We're going to try and get some good stuff. We need... We need enough gear to make a warp drive uh, for the CV so that we can warp to a different 
planet so we can get get the hell off this planet oh well, even though uh, I don't really want to get the hell off this planet I think I just want to go get better stuff <laughs> so yeah and, and a SV I mean they want you to use an SV to go do that but it's like oh my god the SV you got to make to be able to warp somewhere and and carry a bunch of uh, weights with you currently is it's kind of ridiculous so it's cheaper to make a little CV in my opinion well there you have it we have a little tiny CV ready to go there it is we should uh, get that painted up and um, textured we need to upgrade more of it too so we need to go uh, I think off camera what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the HV because I won't even need the CV to do it. I'll just take the HV over to the um, one of the capital ships and start multi-tooling it down for, for XP and for plates because it has all those plates on it. So, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that off camera so that we have a whole bunch of steel plates and hardened steel plates at our disposal because I, I kind of need all that right now. Like right now, upgrade this, upgrade everything. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, till next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.